Hello and welcome to day four of our challenge. Today we're going to be looking at vinyasa yoga. So this is a faster paced yoga where we tend to do one breath per movement but I am going to break it up first and then we'll go through it quicker after. Now the reason I'm sharing with sharing this class with you today is because I want you to find the fun in yoga. I want you to feel the movements. I want you to know that it doesn't have to be this really slow, relaxing and just stretching kind of exercise, okay? We can have fun with this. It can be quick, it can get your heart rate going and kind of feel like a little bit of a cardio workout, okay? So that's what today is all about. If you don't like this class, don't worry because we've already done yin, we've done slow flow and there's loads of different kinds of yoga. This challenge really is just me trying to show you the different ways that you can gain flexibility. So let's get to it. Okay, so welcome to our backbending vinyasa class. The only thing that I think you're gonna need today is a blanket, um, mainly because we don't want to be on a hard surface with our knees. So completely up to you. Um, I also like to just sit on it as well. So when you sit on it, it helps to tilt your pelvis forward. If you sit on the edge of it, helps to lengthen up the spine. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is come to a seated position completely up to you how, cross-legged, you can have your ankles in front of your pelvis, you can sit with your legs out straight if that feels most comfortable for you. Hands on the knees, roll the shoulders back, let's close down the eyes. Let's take a big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, and again big inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. And again, nice big inhale. Exhale, let it go. And then come back to your natural breath. It's always good to start our practices just by bringing your awareness and your attention to your body and to your mat. Don't worry about what's happening after this or what's happened before this. Bring all your attention on right now. And we will begin. Let's bring our hands to heart center. We're going to interlace the fingers. We're going to inhale, separate your palms, bring your elbows up. As you exhale, flip your palms to face out, push away, round the back, tuck the chin. Inhale, bring the hands up above the head. Maybe you keep bending the elbows. Exhale, release the hands. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, open that chest. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, elbows go up, fingers are interlaced. Exhale, push away around the spine. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release, interlace your hands. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, open the shoulders, bring your hands away from your bum. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, above. Exhale, release, interlace. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, hands to heart center. So great little movement that you can do while watching TV. Okay, let's come all the way over onto all fours. This is where you can use the blanket for your knees if you like. So what I tend to do is I will open it up, place it to about where my knees go, and that's pretty much gonna stay there throughout the whole of my practice today. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, spread your fingers nice and wide. Let's inhale, drop the belly down, look forward. Exhale, push them that way around the spine. Inhale down, stick your bum out, open that chest. Exhale, reverse, tuck the tailbone. Inhale down. Exhale, reverse. And come back to neutral. Bring the hands out a little bit further than the shoulders. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. So remember, you can keep a bend in your knees. 
Push your belly back towards your thighs, lift your hips up high to the sky. I'm gonna do a sun salutation to warm up the body. So bend the knees, look towards your hands, take a big step, come into your forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the legs, straighten the spine, it doesn't matter how high up you come. Exhale, fold. Slight bend of the knees when you forward fold. Inhale, bring the hands to the side, come up, straighten the legs, stand up, hands come above your head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the hands back up. Exhale, fold forward, slight bend of the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, take both feet back to plank. Take an inhale here, lower the knees. As you exhale, lower your chest, come through onto your belly. Inhale, lift that chest up slightly, keep those elbows bent. Exhale, back down. Push back up onto your knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Okay. So sun salutations are a great explanation of vinyasa, okay? One breath per movement. Now we're gonna take a couple breaths in each pose today before we move it up to a little bit quicker, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is lift up the right leg. Take a big inhale, exhale, step it in between your hands and then lower the left knee. Now, if that's too difficult to swing your leg up, which for most people it will be, you're gonna come down to onto your knees, down to all fours, and then just step your left foot forward, okay? Oh, with time, you'll be able to swing that leg up. But to start with, it's fine to just see this. Sink into those hips. You might feel this in the front hamstring. You might feel it in the back quad. Notice where you're feeling this. Imagine your left hip getting closer to the ground. Okay, let's bring the right hand on the inside of the right foot. Wiggle your right foot out to the side. Lizard lunge. So now your foot is just coming slightly off. Toes point out a little bit diagonally. So maybe you can get those hips a little bit lower doing it, doing it this way. Okay, if you didn't have a blanket under your leg, you might want to grab one now. Completely up to you. If you're on a carpet, it might not matter so much. Bring your right hand to your right knee. And then, I'm just gonna face you just so you can see for a minute. Come onto the outer edge of your right foot and open that knee up. Okay, so you're on your pinky toe side. Maybe you can get those hips a little bit lower. Maybe you stay here. Again, these are options, okay? Maybe you pick up that back leg. See if you can reach around with your right foot and right hand and grab your left foot. Keep sinking those hips lower. These are all options, okay? This is stage three. This is stage two, move that back leg down. Stage one is to just have both your hands on the ground, okay? Completely up to you which option you'd like to take. Again, they come with time. If you had that back leg, let it go, place your hands on the ground. Shuffle that right foot back in between your hands, so you're back to your normal low lunge. Tuck the left toes, come up off the knee, take a few rocks and rock your left foot forward next to the right and come into your forward fold. So slight bend of the knees, upper body's folded over. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now we're gonna bring our hands in front of us this time as we lift up. Ground down for your right foot. When you get to about halfway, you're gonna start picking that left foot off the ground. Bring your knee in line with your pelvis. Flex your left foot. This one I like to call flamingo pose. Okay. Now keeping your left leg in that shape, bring your knees back together. So your left foot is now off the ground behind you. Left hand comes down. Can you grab your left ankle with your left foot? Don't worry if you can't. Now from here, can you kick into that left ankle, maybe slightly lean your chest forward into your dance pose. Okay, so notice here, we got a nice deep back bend again going on. 
And sometimes it's actually harder in vinyasa when we hold the poses. When we go through a little bit quicker, you don't have to think about balancing so much. Okay, now slowly let go of that foot. Keep it up though. Step that left foot all the way back. So bend into your right knee, step that left foot down, arms come up above your head, high lunge. Let's lower that left knee down to the ground. Keep them toes tucked. Bring your left hand down. See if you can lean back and grab hold of your left ankle. If you can't, again, don't worry. Keep your hands up and we're just gonna back bend and look up slightly. Okay, so you're either here, just looking up with your arms above or you've grabbed hold of that left ankle, leaned back a little bit. If you have the left ankle, keep tilting your tips, your tips, that nearly came out wrong, your hips forward. <laughs> Bring your hips forward. So you can get a little bit of a deeper back bend here. And then bring your hands down, frame that right foot, take that right foot back to meet the left, tuck your toes, down with facing dog. Okay, so that's our little sequence. We're gonna go through that again on the other side. So first let's take a vinyasa just to even out the body. So roll forward into your plank, drop your knees, take an inhale here, untuck the toes if you like, Exhale, lower down to the ground. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, back down. Push back up onto your knees. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Left leg reaches up high behind. Step your left foot up in between your hands. Lower your right knee. Now remember, you can just come to all fours and bring your left leg up if you need to. So low lunge, sink those hips down nice and low. Again, just notice where you're feeling it on this side. Maybe that hamstring, maybe that back quad. And then wiggle your left foot out to the side. Left hand comes on the inside of the foot, toes point out a little bit diagonally. Same direction as your knee. Now options again. Maybe you stay here, sinking those hips down as low as you can. Maybe you bring your left hand onto your left knee, come onto the outer edge of your left foot, open that knee up. It's like you're pushing that knee away. Sink your hips down low. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you pick up that back leg, reach around and sink down into those hips. Okay, so again, pick your option. There is no right and wrong way here. The only wrong way is if you're feeling pain, and then come out and do the easier option. Slowly release that back leg. Bring your left foot back in line, hands either side of your left foot. Tuck your right toes under, come up off the knee. Take a few rocks. Rock your right foot next to your left, come into your forward fold. Feet hips distance, slight bend of the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now again, bring your hands up in front. This time, ground down for your left foot. As you get halfway, pick that right knee up to your flamingo pose. Keeping your right leg in that position. Bring your knees together so your right foot comes back. Bring your right hand down. Can you grab that right ankle? I always like to keep my right foot flexed because then you get a bit more of a grip on your ankle. Your hand can't slip off the end. And then kick into that right foot. Maybe lean forward slightly. Bit of a back bend here. Keep looking up. Make sure you don't look down. And make sure you're focusing on something that's not moving. That's really going to help with your balance here. And then slowly release that foot, hands up, take that right foot all the way back, come into your high lunge. Find some balance. Lower that right knee down. Maybe you stay here and you sink those hips forward, look up, slight back bend, arms come pointing behind you, 
or maybe that right hand comes down to find that ankle. Tilt your hips forward. Let's say it right this time. Left hand comes up and over. And then windmill the hands to frame that left foot. Left knee comes back to meet the right. Vinyasa, hover over your hands, lower down to your belly. Inhale to cobra, exhale down. Push back up onto your knees, exhale down with facing dog. Now, when we're in our doing our vinyasa, one thing that we do quite a bit is we hold our down dog just for a couple of breaths. Because when we're doing vinyasa and it's one breath per movement, everybody breathes at different rates. So we always hold in downward facing dog so that everybody gets a chance to catch up, okay? So please do not feel like you need to rush through it. Take your time. We'll all meet you in down dog. Okay, so let's go through that again this time. A little bit quicker, okay? But go with your own pace. So toes here at the back of the mat. Inhale your right leg up, exhale, step it through, lower that left knee, low lunge. Big inhale here, exhale, shuffle it to the side, lizard lunge, bring that right hand on the inside of the leg. Sink those hips down low. Maybe stay here, maybe right hand on the knee. Inhale as you come onto the outer edge of your right foot, sink those hips down, maybe stay here. Maybe on your next exhale, bring that left foot up, reach behind. And then again on your exhale, sink those hips down low. So normally on our exhales, we're relaxing a little bit more into the pose. Release that back foot if you have it. Come back to your low lunge So shuffle your right foot back to the middle. Tuck your toes, come up off the knee, take a few rocks. As you exhale, come into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to that flamingo. Come on up, pick up that left foot. I hope I've done this on the right side. As you exhale, grab hold of that left foot. Dance a pose, inhale. Take an exhale. Inhale, release. Exhale, step back to your high lunge. Inhale, lower that left knee. Exhale, take your variation of your back bend here. Another big inhale. Exhale, frame that right foot. Take that right knee back. Inhale, hover over your hands. Exhale, vinyasa, come down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale down, push back up onto your knees, downward facing dog. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Just remember to take your time and go with your own breath. So toes to at the back of the mat. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step it forward, lower that right knee, low lunge, big inhale as you open your chest and sink your hips down. As you exhale, lizard lunge, left hand comes in, left foot goes out slightly. Maybe you stay here, take a big inhale. Maybe you bring your left hand on your left knee, open it up as you exhale, sink those hips down. Maybe stay here, maybe you inhale that back leg, reach behind. Exhale, sink down a little bit deeper. One breath here. Release that back foot. Back to your low lunge. Tuck your toes, come up off the knee. Take an inhale as you rock. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale to your flamingo pose, right knee comes up. Exhale, bring your right hand down, grab that right ankle. Inhale to your dancer pose, a breath here. Inhale, 
Inhale as you let go of the foot. Exhale, find your high lunge. Careful not to slip on the blanket. Lower that right knee. Exhale to your back bend variation. Maybe both hands up, maybe grabbing that ankle. Exhale, frame that left foot. Take that left knee back, hover over your hands. Big inhale here. Exhale, lower down. Inhale to Cobra. Exhale down. Push back up onto your knees. Downward facing duck. Just gonna double check the time. Perfect. So you can see how, you know, it can be quite fun when you're flowing through all these different poses. One breath per movement. It doesn't have to be this slow, boring stretch that most people think yoga is. Bring your toes together at the back of the mat. Drop your knees as wide as the mat. And let's come into our child's pose. So arms come out long, sink your chest down, rest your forehead, relax here for a second. So the good thing about these classes as well is, I haven't done it today, but normally I will say when we're in down dog, optional vinyasa. So if you're feeling stronger, you can add in another chaturanga, cobra to down dog. You know, you can keep adding in these extra poses where you feel like you need it, but then you never have to. You can always come down and rest in child's pose when you need to. Sometimes it's going to depend, especially if you're a woman on the time of month, um, on how your hormones are feeling. You know, some days you've got energy, some days you don't. So sometimes I can do exactly the same class. Some days I will power through it and do loads of extra chaturangas. Other days I'm in child's pose half the time. Okay, so don't ever take it personally. We're going to be different at all stages of life, okay? So let's slowly just walk your hands back up. We're just going to cool the body down. So let's roll over onto our backs. So nice and slowly, hug the knees in. Lengthen out that spine, should feel nice after that. Maybe gently rock side to side. We're gonna plant the feet flat on the ground. We'll do one more thing before we cool down. Make sure that your fingertips can tickle the back of your heels. And take a big inhale here. As we exhale, lift up into bridge. So lift your hips up nice and high. Ground down through your shoulder blades. Maybe tuck your shoulder blades under a little bit more. Lift those hips up as high as you can. And then exhale, come back down. Now options, you can stick with that. If you would like to attempt wheel pose, then let's try this. Hands are gonna come up by your ears, fingertips facing towards your shoulders. Okay, it's really awkward. Sometimes your he the heels of your hands might not reach the floor right away, okay? Mine are slightly hovering right now. So we're gonna stay here, make sure that you've got no hair underneath your hands. You don't wanna be yanking your hair out. Let's lift the hips up into bridge. Maybe you stay here, okay? We're gonna do this one part at a time. Don't ever feel like you have to rush on to the next stage. Then dig into your hands, come up onto the tip of your head, crown of your head, okay? Now maybe you stay here, lifting those hips up high. Ground down through the heels of your hands. Maybe you can push into your hands and come all the way up into your wheel pose. It, when you're up into your wheel pose, I'm coming down because I felt, felt something in my back then. Um, push your chest all the way back. Okay, so push it towards the top of your mat. Push it towards as if you're trying to bring your chest in between your arms. Okay, that's really going to get that wheel shape. And like me, if you feel anything that felt a bit dodgy, come on down. I've, um, I hurt my back because Alexis decides to jump on me constantly. <laughs> but today was a good, uh, a good stretch out. So, you know, even if, you, if wheel pose isn't something that you're trying to attempt, back bend flexibility is just amazing for you anyway. So don't ever feel like you have to do that. You can just come straight down into a bridge pose. You don't have to do that at all. You can always just practice through your arms up. That takes a lot of wrist flexibility. Practicing getting up onto your head, that takes some strength as well as the wrist flexibility. Okay, so that's where most people get stuck. 
And then once you're up, it's the back flexibility and your chest to really push your chest backwards. So feel free to have a little play of that for now if you'd like, if you're ready. <laughs> Lengthen through your spine, hug those knees in. Bring your knees above your hips and then drop your knees over to the right. Arms are gonna come up either out straight in line with your shoulders into a T-shape or into cactus arms. And let's just relax the back for a second here. Taking long in as an exhale. So even though we build up quite a bit of heat in our vinyasa, it's really important to slow it down afterwards. Bring your knees back up to center, drop them over to the other side, over to the left. Again, maybe your arms come out in line with your shoulders. Maybe you keep them in a cactus shape. Try to relax your back, your legs, your chest, wherever you're feeling this as much as possible. And bring your knees back up to center. Hug them in. Let's just take a quick happy baby just to really lengthen out the spine. So knees apart, grab hold of either your ankles or the outer edges of your feet and then open your feet up. So your knees are coming down towards your armpits. Soles of your feet are facing towards the ceiling. Lengthen through your low back. So try to make sure that your low spine is still on the ground. And then from here, if it feels comfortable, you can gently rock side to side. And then releasing the feet down. Let's make our way into Shavasana. So whatever position you'd like to have your Shavasana in, you can just come into corpse pose, which means legs out, feet flopped open, arms down by the sides. If you're really feeling that in your low back, a great thing to do is to put a pillow or a rolled up blanket underneath your knees, and that will help to keep your low spine flat on the ground. So completely up to you. If you don't have a prop, but you're still feeling a lot in your low back, bring your knees up, feet as wide as the yoga mat and drop your knees together. It's another great way to just get your low spine flat to the ground. So completely up to you. Close down the eyes if that feels comfortable. Let's take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Again, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. And just come back to your natural breath. Try to relax any muscle that you're feeling any tension in. So let's take a quick body scan, starting from the toes. So just Relaxing any tension out of the toes and the feet, the lower legs, the upper legs, the hips and the pelvis, the stomach, the low back, the chest and the mid back the shoulders and the upper back. Relaxing the arms, the hands and the fingers. 
and softening all the muscles in the neck, the jaw, the cheekbones, the eyes and the forehead. Just feeling the effects of our practice today. Letting our muscles recover. And feel free to stay here as long as you'd like, but if you are ready, just slowly wiggle, wiggle the fingers and the toes. Take a nice big stretch up overhead. Rolling over onto one side, maybe having a little yawn if you feel like you need to. Slowly pushing yourself up to seated. Let's inhale, sweep the hands up above the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know today's class was a little bit of a longer one. I'd love to know your thoughts and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day five where we're going to be looking at wheel pose and the different ways that we can get into it. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit loose now so tomorrow should be a little bit easier to try to lift yourself up into this amazing back bending pose. Now remember if you can't do it that's also fine we've only been at this for five days okay sometimes things take a little longer so if you can't do it don't worry because at the end of tomorrow, I'm gonna to give you a little offer. So keep your eye on that and I will see you tomorrow.